My name is Alan Hart and today we're at Plumbase in Leeds. We're just going to have a brief overview of the Navian boiler range. So I'll just pass you over to uh, Steve from Plumbase in Leeds. So Steve Plum, manager of Plumbase at uh, Springwell Court in Leeds. I just want to thank Navian, Barry, who's got in it. Hello, coming into the line and have a look. Happy days. Come on, come have a look. Like I said, I just want to thank Barry for coming down uh, with, with demonstrating these boilers today. Is it all uh, We're here on the Navian van in Leeds at Plum Base. Um, we've come to look at the new Navian. Um, this is it obviously with the cover on, this is it with the cover off. Uh, this is Barry from Navian. Hello. Well, we've got some demonstrations to show you on the actual controls, which are open firm, internet controls, modulating. Um, they actually talk to you as well, which I've never seen before, which is different. Okay, so you want me to just run through this quickly? Yep. Can you get in there? Okay, so it can be as simple as uh, room start just up and down. So if you're hard of hearing, you, you've got, it speaks to you. It all, it's also nice and bright. Press it, it's set. To set the timer, it couldn't be easier. So you want it on, say, one o'clock in the afternoon, just go to 13. You just put an hour increments on along this 24 hour basis and then it's set. Give it a couple of seconds. That, that's it. It's that easy to set it. You can also put it into summer mode. Take it out of summer mode. This is basically just an interface for that. It'll also give you your fault codes on there as well as on your phone. Got to be in Wi Fi and um, A few of the good features stainless steel heat exchanger. Um, one of the things everyone likes is this PCB. It's all resin coated so it's water resistant. So. In some of the cold series, cold countries, Russia, uh, Canada, where we're number one, that really helps when you start to condense inside the boiler. A bit of moisture it doesn't affect the board at all. Um, the flue, you can go up to 20 meters with a standard four inch flue. Uh, you can go up to 110 meters with twin 80 mil flue. So, is that the same flue that Ideal use? Yeah, yeah, MNG. Um, there's another few other cool features like commissioning. Hold this button for two seconds, gives you a flow temperature, return temperature, hot water temperature, cold water temperature, which is a little bit hot now because it's just sitting in a plate, and then litres per minute. Also gives you an outside weather temperature if you've got it connected, and your pressure gauge digitally. Because you've got that um, cold water inlet sensor, you can have preheated cold water up to 65 degrees. So if you've got solar thermal on the roof, you can use this as a backup, the combi for a backup. Okay, so stainless steel heat exchanger. Um, you'll notice you don't need any heat pads like you do with the aluminium heat exchangers. Well, one good thing, what makes these so efficient is this secondary heat exchanger. So it's a dual pass. So if you run like a 60, 40 return, it's coming back through here. When it hasn't been dropped, it's quite big waterways. <laughs> this is deceiving. This isn't where the water passes through. This is only to just catch the flue gases to drag more heat out of it make it more efficient so it's not like a plate heat text that isn't cut in half where the water passes through it goes through there. How about, how about cleaning the heat exchanger out? For the first five years we're saying not to clean it out. It's self-cleaning because it's all stainless steel and you're using slightly of the condensed water obviously so there's no need to clean this out. In America they never clean them out. You leave them sealed for 10 years. And what about the back there? Is that um, at all stainless steel at the back as well? So what about um, the general construction of the boiler? Are these uh, are these aluminium stainless no, steel? No, all stainless steel pipes. All of them stainless steel. Yeah. Okay. The gas is a different grade, but the water carrying ones, I think, uh, highest grade stainless steel. And good quality brass components in the back there. Yeah. As you noticed before as well, Mackie, the PRV, there's no PRV in there, it's external, which is a nice easy fix. So I've got to replace that. Look over there as well. Clean the condense, simple, it's right at the front. Just pull that, that out, drop it down, clean it. We're being all stainless steel though, you're not going to find much in there. So yeah, so that's um, a bit of a brief overview of the Navian boilers. So, thank you very much for uh, showing us the uh, Navians today. Yeah, no problem. Thank uh, you, It's been a pleasure to meet you, Barry. Thank you. Say hello to Luke as well. Oh, well. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. 
If you found this video was useful, please give us a like. Thank you.